Facebook Darlington. In my previous two videos, you saw the MacBook 1.1 running Linux Mint. Mint Linux, I always say Mint Linux, but the right uh, name is Linux Mint. And we saw upgrade from 17 to 17.2. However, in the next video, you saw the 4.1, and that's the laptop I'm holding here in my hand, the MacBook 13 inch white 4.1, running Lubuntu, having the same ORP again, the Windows future look and feels, the thing that everybody wants. So, you know, not because, you know, I want to show that that are the looks that it should look like. It's just showing that, you know, the thing can look anything you want it to look like. If you want to look, let it look as an apple, you know, in my next video, I will show you how to change the start orb so you can make your own uh, start uh, orb, maybe company logo, starting up with, uh, with, with this operating system because it's all possible. These things are all easy to edit in Linux and um, by using Linux uh, on daily basis, you will learn uh, also from the Linux community how to you know install certain apps that can only be installed from out the command uh, center. It's called the terminal in Linux. In, in Windows, it's called CMD. So, and uh, you know, uh, you will find out that doing things in Linux is not so hard and will give you back the freedom of using your computer. So you saw the beautiful updated look and feels. I'm going to show you a real time boot of a MacBook 4.1 with two gigabytes of RAM. In this case, you get a wide screen first. And in fact, we're going to kill this machine. As you see, this is the white screen of waiting. Max have that because of the E5 bias that at this moment this thing is dealing with. And you can see it's a pretty long delay. And then the screen will get black. And then you will have a little black screen of waiting. And that is with this particular uh, operating system, the case. And we're going to kill it for another one, another operating system of the same uh, family, Linux. And here you can see Lubuntu starting up. This is a cold boot, saying that if you put the computer to sleep and you open the lid, the thing will be there instantly. So I think I have to log in here. So let me log in real fast. And we log in to the desktop. And you will find out that this desktop has a kind of Windows 10 look and feels. You see that little beautiful color orb that I also have on my t-shirt. You see the icons and everything, the the top bar, and uh, I did not add no uh, bottom bar because in Lubuntu, you know, adding a toolbar at the bottom uh, won't let you add um, everything into it. But with Linux Mint, you can. And also with Lubuntu, you know, after the uh, boot up, many things were not kind of work uh, well. Uh, the the, there was something with the CPU wasn't working and uh, uh, the Wi-Fi Broadcom was not working. So I popped in a little USB stick with the RAW Link 2500. So that is always known by uh, Linux. So installed and I could connect to the internet, update the machine, you know, and then uh, did a new uh, hardware uh, uh, scan 
for for hardware that could be you know that was not supported and then it found the broadcom again and the cpu and then you know it uh enabled them and they worked out of the box so this is the system i can confirm that it looks good and it works pretty nice but uh, <laughs> i find that my uh 1.1 macbook on linux mint is running even better so you know thumbs up there uh, for the linux mint team you guys uh, won if it comes up to the uh, macbook 1.1 because this uh, lubuntu 15 cannot run on the macbook 1.1 you know uh, no matter if i boot uh, with the cd it will come into could not uh, load whatever gonna try number 250 something and then it stays there and then boom the machine reboots again and it gets into a loop and <laughs> so now what we're gonna do peeps uh we're gonna pop in uh, uh the linux mint cd and then we're gonna press the button for 10 seconds because we're gonna kill these bits so let's jump in to the machine welcome back to uh, uh, start the project we will need to create a bootable USB stick. So let's do that. We're going to do that with UNET booting, even though I'm on a MacBook. You know, um, there is UNET booting for Macs. So I'm going to create a bootable USB stick real fast and then we're going to do the installing. Okay, this is very straight up, peeps. Um, you can use any USB stick that you have laying around with uh, two gigabytes of space on it. Um, doesn't matter if there are pictures on it or whatsoever. Uh, it won't be formatted, the stick won't be formatted. Uh, this program will only use this empty space on the stick to create uh, the bootable USB for you, so you can boot from your Mac. Très bien, madame et monsieur, and ladies and gentlemen. So we just created the USB stick. Why did I not start up from DVD? Well, because it's not, it's not working. I tried to boot up the CD, the DVD that I have, number 17, but it was not uh, it was not booting, it kept hanging in a black screen with a little blinking cursor, so yo no sé que pase. So we just gonna let this go. Oops. And you can see the screen is a little bit white, so let me make that a little bit darker there for you. Okay, so I think here we can hit EVI boot. Yeah, and this is then could not, could not open EVI boot. Fail back EVI 14. Hey, but it goes. Who said so? It should go. Let me see what's going to happen. Is it stuck? Black screen of waiting, that should be normal. And then bang, we should see. Boom, mint. Come on, baby. Don't stay black on me there. The stick is also not reacting. Oh, oh, oh. La, 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 la. What was I saying, people? What was I saying? I just give the, the, the stick a little touch, yeah? Because the stick, it needs sometimes a little touch just to um, to get to life. It's been used so often. There is the mouse. Mouse is not working yet. Hold on a second. And... Is the mouse working? We're just gonna hit the installer. There's also something we should do about the mouse. The mouse is not running. It's not really sweet. You must put your finger flat. You see? Uh, if you do like this, then it does not function. You must put it like this. So I don't know why that is, but it's all good to me. It connects, it, 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 it's kind of a little bit, well, install Mint alongside, no, we want to install the Race Ubuntu and reinstall, that's what we want to do, okay? 
So we're going to hit install now. And if you continue, the changes listed below will be written to the disk, yes. So what it's doing now, it's uh, formatting. Here we should go for Amsterdam. But all I can say that uh, I know that on the 1.1, this operating system runs fantastic. You can see the speed of the installer. It goes amazingly fast uh, in some way. Um, of course, that is also because of the of the great uh, uh, speed that it's getting from the USB stick. The thing is uh, uh, being read uh, not from a DVD, so of course it will go faster. So uh, just sit back and relax, and when we get to the boot, I will get back to you, and of course we will then see if we get the airport to work and then we will jump into the computer in the video after this one and then i'm going to show you how i kind of modify it to you know anything i want it to look like probably i uh, will see if i will find a nice uh, logo uh, of mint or something else to give it uh, make it more personal you know uh, something nice Maybe uh, something different than the Windows 10 Orb, you know, just anything we can give it that, you know, looks beautiful. So I will have to think about that, what we're going to make of the system. But one thing I know, it's going to look and work and run fantastic. What did we learn until now? Until now, we learned that this would not be possible without having or a cable connection to the DSL modem or some external Wi-Fi stick that Linux recognizes and the other day I bought a very small stick for I think it was 495 at the action and this is also a stick that is recognized by almost any Linux distribution so also uh, in um, what was it called in Linux Mint? I wanted to say Lubuntu Ubuntu, but of course Linux Mint is also family of Ubuntu. Although there's also a LDX LDXE version, and the D represents Debian, so there's also a version based on Debian, but this is the version based on Ubuntu. So Ubuntu is also you know, um, but we need that stick because we must hit that little yeah what is it it looks like the same sign of the security center it just pops up and it will say updates available there will be one update that you must install just like in windows and then after the first uh after the install of the first update that will go ahead and check what is you know available for the machine and then it will update everything if you just hit it and check it will say um your machine is up to date but if you just go ahead and install updates two tabs further on top then you will be able to scan and then it will find that one update and then after scanning again it will find a bunch of updates that you then can use to upgrade and I think that after upgrading uh, these updates uh, we will get the Wi-Fi to work as a matter of fact I'm sure that we're gonna get the airport to work so we don't need no stick to connect and use a USB port that we also can use for other things so until this is done I'm gonna get back to you after a while of installing we see that it says that the system is up to date so we're gonna close this we don't need to restart it's not saying that we must restart and bang look i removed the stick and what do we see there my ladies and gentlemen we see that wi-fi is installed now we can now easily connect to our wi-fi network via our airport you see so we don't need the external uh, wi-fi stick anymore and we will be using the powerful airport 
uh, broad comb thing. So now we're gonna do some properties because my neck is hurting me from looking down. So we put the test bar on top. Uh, we're gonna also do a solid color and we're gonna give it a little bit of color there. A little bit of blue. It's blue by you, you see? So we, oh no, you must be careful not to make it to just give it a little accent. You see that? Otherwise you will not be be able to read the black caps. Um, I mean the text. And here we can soon do some other little things, but this already looks great to me. We can give it another wallpaper. Also, the right mouse click works fine. You got to put two fingers on the on the on the pad and then hit the button. Then you will have a right mouse click. And here we can see that there are beautiful wallpapers. We can give it a blue one that is pretty dark. I don't like these dark dark uh, wallpapers. I like light wallpapers. They make me happy. And I must be happy here behind my computers because I work a lot behind them. So they must not frustrate me. Otherwise I kill them. And you know I like killing the beats. No, I don't like. I love killing the beats. What is this? Blue by you. This is also nice, huh? Oh, this is I love this color. I love this color. This looks fantastic. Wow, look at that. And then we have also this one, the leaf and the very old uh, wallpaper that we have since Tiger. You see, still there. Hey, even the Rasta people have something nice. Big up you guys there, man. Rastafari, I know, you know, look at there. A Rasta wallpaper for my for my Rasta yo mint you are improving I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna keep this one just because they put it inside and I'm a reggae lover so I'm gonna keep it well peeps uh, this is it uh, everything is installed you will have to wait for the next video to uh, see whatever I'm gonna make from this thing well peeps all I can say is it was just like I thought it was, you know, we first need to update and then when we got all the updates, the Broadcom will, the AirPod will start working automatically. But for this project, you need an external USB stick that is supported by Linux. Peeps, I'm not going to make this video any longer. I hope you liked it. Uh, to you all, I want to wish you a good week. It's uh, Sunday. It's Sunday, still Sunday, so we still have uh, 30 more minutes to go and then it's going to be Monday. So great week there. Uh, test out uh, Mint Linux, Linux Mint 17.2. Download it, create a USB bootable, install it on your MacBook and be amazed of the power you will have as a user. Till my next video, thanks for watching, like, subscribe.